Hello again, everyone. Edwin Warner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the transit sun making a square opposition or in conjunct aspect to the natal center. Now, we're talking about transit sun and all the sun. This can be about uh, life, actions, or what we want, our focus, our attention, where we want to shine, how we're going to shine. And when you have the transit sun, making basically ad adverse aspect to the natal Saturn. Well, this could be about life, um, actions, what you want, what you're focusing on. Your attention uh, may conflict with your uh, responsibilities. Um, you know, Saturn is in natal Saturn is in Cancer, and or the fourth house, it could be home, family related, uh, responsibility to safety and security. Um, in introversion maybe even um, it can be you know, Saturn is also I can have a connection with a career so there might be some conflict in what you want to do and uh, your career ambitions your responsibilities to your career um, you know, if you have like you know, Capricorn Libra energy involved it could be you know, there might be some conflict with intellectual sociability and those career ambitions and being you know, really you know, some of the things that have to you know be done in terms of your responsibilities um, it can be uh, something too when you look at Saturn it can be connected despondency sorrow sadness it could be where you're seeing maybe your perception the life at this time might be a little bit more negative you might be more pessimistic at this time more so than usually you might be seeing more negative aspects of your life in contrast to positive ones uh, it can be a time to it might be maybe you're not able to get what you want it might be causing some sorrow maybe even feeling depressed Saturn is also connected uh, with the father and uh, older people so it can be a time you know, things you want to do for yourself, maybe more self-interest, things you want to shine in, might, uh, might challenge at this time. It could be matters, you know, with the father or, you know, older people. You know, say if Saturn is in the 12th house and you have this transit or in Pisces, it might be some, you know, responsibilities to, you know, older, it might be older people that are, you know, less fortunate that might have some limitations uh, perhaps it can be uh, you know, a situation too and you look at a, this transit as well this could be a, a situation where uh, Saturn is about our restrictions and limitations and you might feel you know this time trying to you know to take action on matters you know may be harder it might be due to some kind of uh, restriction or, or some limitation at this time, whether it might be a physical one, what have you. If Saturn is in, say, the first or the sixth house in the natal chart, it may well be you know, some kind of physical debilitation or you know, chronic, it could be a chronic illness. Um, Saturn is also connected with authority figures, superiors. And um, interestingly enough, the sun could be connected with that as well. So this is a time where the situation with you know, might be more contentious than usual with an authority figure because you may feel you know, you're the authority in situ some situation and you might be going against opposing somebody that might be you know, very, you know, could be you know, somebody like a superior supervisor at your position. If Leo is involved, you know, there might be very domineering energy going on at this time you know somebody might might be a very domineering you know, supervisor say if Saturn is in Leo as an example um, it can be a time too for you I mean keep in mind anatomically speaking Saturn is connected to the skin the bones the knees uh, the joints the teeth and chronic debilitations so it can be a time where your life may be more adversely affected by one of these things that might be you near know, maybe some physical situation uh, connected with this uh, as well it can be you know, a time where uh, 
since Saturn is connected with physical you know, debilitations, if you have something, say your Saturn, for example, if it's in Gemini, there might be some problem. You might have with the arms or hands. It might be extensive nerve damage to your arms or hands or carpal tunnel. It might be playing more of an adverse effect on your life at this time, more so than usual. Maybe you're having trouble focusing on this, this issue. It can be a time to remember, keep in mind, this transit doesn't last uh, very long. It's going to last, it may last about like five days roughly on average. Remember that if you're using a you know, three degree applying aspect and two degrees separating, the sun moves approximately one degree per day. So you're looking at five days uh, roughly. So it's not a it's not a long as uh, transit. If you have transit Saturn making that as making these aspects to your uh, natal sun, they can last longer. Remember though that the sun transit sun is going to square your natal Saturn, you know, two times a year though. And it's also going to oppose it one time, and it's going to make an inconjunct aspect uh, two times the, uh, out of the year. So you're going to have this transit like five times out of the year. But um, anyway, now Saturn is also connected with our um, with our fears as well and delays. It may be a time where there might be some fear, you know, some inhibition, maybe conflicting with what you want um, it might be you know it might be harder to go after you know something you know due to some fear um, at this time again going back to Saturn and Gemini it might be tied in you know to some fear maybe of communication to some degree um, it might be something where uh, as well when you look at this transit it's also and going back to the fact Saturn could be associated with delays, it might be more delays in getting what you want at this time. You might feel, you know, you might have to put your life on hold for something. Uh, say if Saturn is in you know, the fourth house, you may be taking care of a debilitated family member or someone you're close to home with. And it might be causing some delays in terms of what you want for yourself. Um, what you want to really focus your attention on uh, can also be a time to you know the Saturn is also connected with laborious work so it might be a time where you know what you want to do in terms of what you want to shine in you know if it's in the transit sun is in Scorpio it might be something connected with the occult which can include astrology or something with investigation digging deep into something and it might conflict with what you have to do in terms of your work and responsibilities at this time. Saturn is also associated with structure and discipline. So it might be more difficult at this time if you're trying to gain structure and discipline in your own life in general. You might have a situation where, you know, when the transit passes, you might have a better opportunity to do so. But during the transit, if you're trying to gain structure and discipline in your life, it can be more difficult, more complicated. So anyway. Well, another way this transit can manifest and pan out could be a biological father and child may conflict with your work at this time and your responsibilities. Say if the um, transit sun is in Leo, it could be a very domineering and attention-seeking uh, father or child at this time and may conflict with an Aquarius you know, work or career if this is, you know, say if it's making an opposition your natal Saturn and Aquarius, uh, you know, such as like you know, working in electronics, computers, innovation, astrology, aerospace, electronics, anything that could be Aquarius related, perhaps. And the thing is, and and it might also be a time where a physical issue, which could be connected with the Sun, may cause some kind of difficulty in dealing with some kind of limitation or restriction, which is Saturn. Um, Say if your natal Saturn is in Taurus in the 12th house in that example, um, it can be some kind of limiting, which is Saturn. It could be a monetary issue or something with self-worth or self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, which is Taurus, and might be tied into secret sorrows, which of course is the 12th house. Hold on a minute.
sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway, um, some cases too, this may manifest in actions that might require more laborious work and effort, uh, say if this is, um, you know, say if this is, uh, you have this in Virgo, in the fourth house, um, it might be, you know, say if it's, you know, um, whether it could be the sun, or, or your natal Saturn in Virgo in the fourth house, it might be maybe, uh, organizing the home at this time, uh, it might be difficult, more difficult in getting attention from authority figures, uh, the biological father or older people, um, uh, at this, or it should, or I should say, yeah, it should be getting difficulties from, I'm sorry, getting, uh, it might be more difficult in getting attention from authority figures, the father, older people at this time, and say if this is in, uh, you know, you have this in Aries, uh, for one way or another, it might be, say if the transit sun is in Aries, it might be getting attention for, you know, leadership prowess or ability, or just, just taking action in general, initiative and enterprise, courage, fortitude. Um, some cases this may be, you know, might be going through an eye strain for a little, a short period because the sun rules either the left or the right eye, depending on gender. And Saturn is a laborious effort, so it could be maybe a little more of a strain on you. Maybe you're, you're, there's something happening causing a little more, more of a strain to see things more so than usual. Pisces, as an example, can be some kind of like blurry vision. Um, and uh, Gemini could be double vision. Um, it could also be that fiscal problems may be more, you know, might require more of an arduous task to actually deal with at this time and say if you know, the transit sun, uh, for example, if it falls, um, say, Sagittarius, it could be some issue with the hip or the thigh, or maybe there's a, you know, liver situation um, at this time, something with the sciatic nerve. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people everywhere, it's in the state of